This is Twit. Uh, my pick of the week is kind of uh, kind of odd, but I'm having fun with it. Uh, it is uh, a service called Shadow. Oh, oh wow, what's going on? yes. Uh, it's, you, Don't you, you, use you this, might have Anthony? heard of Anthony loves this. Yeah, yeah. Sh Shadow. Shadow. Tech. Uh, but uh, since I've been trying to find ways to make sure I maximize value uh, on my iPad Pro, uh, one of the only disappointments I have that there, I, I really wish I had a desktop browser. There are some desktop apps that I kind of miss. There are times where I wish I had the real Photoshop just for a little while, uh, and so I've been checking out Shadow. Dot tech. It is a subscription-based PC service, uh, so it's a cloud-based computing. So once you install the app on iOS uh, and pay thirty bucks a month, uh, you wow, really, that's expensive. The, the, wow, it is ex it is expensive. But what happens is that your the window uh, in your uh, in your iOS device or or, uh, or the full screen becomes a Windows machine. It's running yeah. it's running Windows on Windows hardware remotely. And if you've got like a halfway decent Wi-Fi signal, the latency is really really good. It's snappy and responsive. And there's nothing special to do. It's not as though you have to install uh, choose from special apps that they've made available. No, literally, you have a Windows desktop that you can then do whatever you want to and it has a one gigabyte per second connection to the internet from this uh, from wherever the server is so then you can just install download and install photoshop download and install uh microsoft uh, wow. microsoft office download and install uh chrome or whatever you want it's fast it's they say it's fast enough for gaming uh the graphics card is a, a gtx 1080 which is absolutely no slouch uh you get to uh, 12 gigabytes of uh, ram 256 gigabytes of storage you can expand that if you'd like and and of course, if you're using iCloud for, uh, for uh, iCloud, Dropbox, uh, uh, any other sort of remote storage, of course, you can connect that again, just like you just like you had a Windows laptop or a Windows desktop. It will simply connect to uh, iCloud and use your use your files that way. Uh, and uh, because of the mouse and keyboard support you have uh, on your iPad, it works really, really well. And uh, not only that, but it's available for the it has client apps for iPad, also uh, Apple TV. Uh, has clients for for Android, clients for Mac OS. So wherever you wherever you are, you can connect to this virtual. It's not even virtual. It's like an actual remote PC that you're connecting to wherever you want. And yes, 30, 30 bucks a month is not super ch not cheap at all. But it's cheaper uh, than a PC. You, I mean, that's three. When, when, when you do the when you do the math, yeah. yeah. If, I, if I were to if I were to build a PC with the specs, this is sort of like a it's a Xeon processor, but it's kind. I would I'm guessing that it's kind of like a high end i5. It would cost. It would take about a couple of years, maybe three years, including the graphics card, like at MSRP prices, to get back the cost of what you would have spent uh, on a PC. But the other thing is, there's no contract involved. So if you just need this for like a month worth of travel, uh, you can just simply subscribe and then cancel uh, after after your first this month. This might and you're just solve 30 bucks. my Valheim problem when we go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's. I haven't done I haven't done much gaming on it uh, because I'm not that much of a gamer. But the, the spec says that it does support. Uh, 4K, uh, 60 frames per second. Uh, it is. It was originally propositioned a couple of years ago as a streaming gaming platform. And on the side, you could also do Windows stuff on it. Uh, that's how I first like got in, got interested in it. Actually, actually, I had to update my account because I hadn't used it in like a year and a half. Uh, I wasn't paying for it, but the, the had the had the account enabled, and I'm actually using it for real stuff. It's very very credible. Uh, and the minimum requirements are 15 megabits per second uh, internet connection, so I can just about use it on my uh, Wi-Fi hotspot. If you've got better better uh, mobile internet speed, uh, it'll work fine there. But yeah, I like I've it, it's got me sort of interested in uh, particularly uh, if you have a thirty dollar, thirty five dollar, uh, excuse me, a fifty dollar uh, uh, Google Chromecast dongle, it'll run on that because it runs on Android TV. If you've got an Apple TV, it'll run on that. So technically speaking, if you Bluetooth a mouse and a keyboard to your Apple TV, you can also use it as a very, very uh, productive Windows PC. Again, as long as you're willing to spend thirty bucks a month for however long you need it. But uh, it's it's good enough that I'm I'm sticking with it. Uh, just to see how much it can do. Again, the biggest bane to my existence when it comes to using an iPad as a real PC isn't just uh, isn't uh, daily daily stress and daily daily problems. It's that one case where, damn it, I've got I've, I'm spending two and a half days in New York. I've got this one thing for which I need a desktop app, and for that reason, I'm going to have to take my full laptop and the power bricks and everything with it. With this, it would be very, very easy for me to say, nope, I, I don't care that I'm in my last two weeks of writing this book. I need a Microsoft Office because that's what the publisher uses. I can actually run the full desktop Microsoft Office on this screen. It'll run more than well enough to get the job done for the next week.
Nice. I'm going to have to check it out. I was thinking of just putting like a remote PC on my PC at home yeah, and you know, I was, logging I, into I was, it from remote. But I don't have, I only have 40 meg, 40 gig, 40 megs up. They have yeah. a much faster upstream. Uh, and the and, and the problem was because I, I do I do have a, a Adobe software screens which I really really like as a remote access solution. Unfortunately, it is a standard uh, like remote access solution, so you're going to have to leave. Make sure that you have a Mac that's going to be responsive to uh, internet wake up symbols, right. uh, signals, but also make sure that you're securing it properly so that you're not just leaving an open port that other people can log into your PC. I like the fact that I've got this separate. Yeah. remote Windows machine that I don't I'm not necessarily even storing anything important on if if that gets compromised that would be a bummer but I could just simply nuke the whole thing and uh, I'd, they wouldn't get access to my entire network they just get access to this little 256 gigabyte uh, notebook that I probably would have spent 700 600 dollars on so uh, why does it say subscribe now ready to use by December 31st 2021 it's because they actually have to put a, a they, blade in, in the they server. have to put a blade in so 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 don't get your That's hopes weird. up kids <laughs> i'm not using this maybe next year really <laughs> i was i was maybe maybe it's because I, maybe it's because I, i'm sorry i didn't see that i, I, I again i had, I was I had gonna a, set it up right now and try valheim but i don't know uh i'll have to wait till next year really how long I, did it again, take I was, uh, anthony well, for you how long I, did it take so i only tried it when it first launched in, Cal in california like a couple years ago and i was in April, I pre-ordered, and then I noticed oh, I the see. December it's because we're thing. in California. That's the problem. If I were in, oh yeah, that's the problem. So California is behind. If I were in Massachusetts, no. If I were in Rhode Island, let me see. Maybe you're just you're just they, lucky. No, well, try another state. I think they also got purchase or acquired by they another got, company, so they're they're uh, shaking things out. So that yeah, might be a part of it too. That's yeah. That that's all over the blog. I, and I'm I'm surprised because I'm I'm just I'm just like you. I hadn't I hadn't used it for like a couple of uh, a you couple were of years. I only, up. <laughs> I, again, all, all I had all I had to do was like log back in. Oh, you'd forgot your password. Here's do to do do a new password. Oh, by the way, we changed our entire system now, so you're gonna have to like update to everything. And so they for, got me a brand new. PC. Forget Andy mentioned anything. Because no, if you well, all keep, sign keep up, it. I'm not going to get it by December 31st, 2021. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, you know what? You know what? You know what? Try, try, to, try, to, try to order an iPad configured how you want. See how, how long you have to wait for that. And that's actually hardware. No, this is I cool. Know, I'm sorry. And, and, I'm and sorry, you game, you've gamed with it, right, Anthony? I mean, you, you yeah. can game with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, I get that. That was a, a few years ago, but yeah, it's, it's I mean, kind of like 1080 Stadia text. or anything. But yeah, yeah. what's nice is you get yeah. the full Windows experience. 12 gigs of RAM. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Shadow. Uh, it's at shadow.tech if you want to know more.